We live in the city of Cincinnati in an area called Clifton. There's a lot of traditional housing in Cincinnati and we really wanted to have a more modern feel. This neighborhood kind of is known for the modern architecture of the houses. That was something we wanted to be a part of. When we first saw the house, it looked like a time capsule from 1967. The original range, all the original appliances, there was a green bathroom, there was a pink bathroom. Every wall had wood paneling that wasn't good wood paneling. And the house was really compartmentalized. You could see that if you just took down a wall, it would become this great open concept house. The big challenge for us was making the open concept happen. There was a load-bearing wall that divided the kitchen office area and the living room, dining room. With a few really big structural changes, it would be like our dream house. There was space to make an amazing kitchen. We could have the place where our kids could hang out and play while we cooked, because we both liked to cook. So we had to find a way to re-support the ceiling to support the whole entire span, which is about uh, 40 feet. So the architect uh, brought in an engineer, and that's when he came up with this bracket and rod system, which we installed to make the open concept happen. Amanda and I both were kind of concerned, like, well, what's it going to look like with these big black rods hanging from the ceiling? So that's where Howl's really came into play for us, so we could see other examples. It looks fantastic. It makes the house modern and interesting and keeps it open, and uh, it turned out great. When we're home, most of us are in the kitchen. That's the way we spend a lot of our family time together. But a main chef in the house is really my husband. He's an amazing cook. He loves to cook. It's relaxing to him. Super important to me was that everything was functional and close. We wanted to rearrange, you know, where's the sink relative to the stove? Kind of thinking about how do we cook and how do we function with our family. We are here all the time. I make breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We eat most of our meals here. The inspiration for the layout of the kitchen did come from a picture I found on House. We really wanted to have a pantry that was really close to where we would be cooking. So our architect said to me, you know, well, I don't really understand what you mean. So I went to House and found exactly what I was imagining with the modern freestanding wall that would create extra little space in the kitchen where we could have a pantry. Everything's easily accessible. If I need some spices back in the pantry, I just run back and grab them and right by the stove. Kind of hides the microwave and the toaster oven. It basically created a modern butler's pantry. But it also enabled us to push the kitchen out about six feet to get the island more into the middle of the room to kind of make the, all the rooms come together. The island is massive and it is super functional. Everything we need when we're setting the table or emptying the dishwasher is right there, easy to access. Even my children are able to help with all of it. There you go. Because it's just laid out so perfectly. For the kitchen wish list, I really had my heart set on a certain look to the cabinetry. I wanted that flat front, modern, simple, clean, plain door, and I really wanted it to be in a walnut and just couldn't find it anywhere. And then I thought, you know, I've noticed when I've been browsing on house that you can find professionals in your area. And so I typed in, you know, custom cabinet maker Cincinnati, and Don was the one, Don Justice cabinet maker, whose body of work on his house page was exactly what I had had in mind. And in talking to him, he said, of course, you can have whatever you want. We spend a ton of time thinking, where do we want the kitchen drawers that will hold the dishes? Well, we want them by the dishwasher. My wife really wanted to go with all drawers. There's no upper cabinet doors, it's all drawers. And it just makes it great for putting things away. I'm free to go. No one's going around me trying to get in a cabinet. We have really big, deep lower drawers that I can hide tons of appliances in that don't have to be out on the counters. And on either side of the stove, the same thing. We have great deep drawers that hold a 14-inch skillet, the 12-inch skillet, the 10-inch skillet. What I love what Don did with the cabinets, if you look at it, all the grain on all the cabinets matches up, so it's one long piece of veneer, so it's not broken up. It's almost like you're working in an artistic area, not in a kitchen. It was really nice to feel like we got to have exactly what we wanted with no compromises. I love how they look and how they function. To be able to make the kitchen be 
just exactly what we imagined. It is our dream kitchen. We had a ton of fun decorating the house. We did a lot of auction shopping. We also found a few finishing touches on the house website. We found the perfect dimension, tiny little credenza that we could tuck against the wall in our dining room space because there's not a ton of space there and a, um, a beautiful, very modern, clean mirror to go above it. We had almost everything in place, and then we were down to this last piece of we need dining room chairs. We looked probably, I think I've seen every uh, modern, mid-century modern dining chair uh, available. So I searched and searched and um, finally was able to use Howes to help find dining room chairs, and I'm thrilled with the ones that we chose. They're comfortable, they're clearly really well-made chairs, they're, it turned out wonderful. Before, the house was kind of like you were going to your grandma's house. And somehow though you could see, you know, with a few changes, this house could be the cool house. And I, I feel like we, we made it happen. It was a ton of work to get this done. Wow. But we've only been here a year, but we've already created a ton of memories. What was important for us in this house with our kids the age they are was that there would just be so much space for us to hang out as a family. Luckily, the house turned out to be a place where my kids love to be. My son even says, how long are we gonna live here? Can I just have this house when you don't wanna live here anymore? It brings the whole family together and uh, everyone has a great time. I'm looking forward to all the future memories we're gonna create living here.